back to daytime. What do Ferrari and a rare piano have in common? Well, in this case, it's a noticeable difference in sound and style and the fact that they're both on display on the same showroom floor. Justin Elliott has designed this Ferrari-inspired piano, and Elliott's design can be found in the showroom at Ferrari of Tampa Bay, where it's on display alongside those stunning race cars that it's inspired its name and design. I'm going to tell you right now, I have never seen a piano like this. This is a beauty, Justin. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here and sharing Pleasure. this with us. First off, I imagine you're a massive car lover. Yes, I have been known to love a couple cars. From time Why to time. Ferrari exactly? Uh, this is their iconic style. Their styling in general, their designers have gone ages and come up with beautiful concepts all along the way. And that's what brought you to create this piano, design this piano, which is, as we mentioned, inspired by Ferrari. Now, which elements are? Everything that's red, that's been added onto it. I take an existing stock piano, this piano's piano distributor has provided this one for today. I put all my case parts on it that are all manufactured um, in America by American craftsmen. We totally change the style of it so we can change from existing to non-existing. Now is it, is it the shape of, is it the shape of the, um, the design? Is it just the racy redness to it? <laughs> what, yeah, what exactly are you taking from the Ferrari? The, the style, overall style, obviously the color is exact color match to a Ferrari. Um, it's just the curves and the elegant style of the instrument. It actually like, seems like in motion while it's standing still. But it does more than just look beautiful on the piano. It actually enhances the, the tone of the piano. How so? It actually is the legs, the way the foundation, the way it's grounded to the ground. It's kind of like a violin. If you hold it too tight, you choke it out, or sure. like a guitar if you, you choke it out. Um, same thing with, with the legs. If the piano is not moving freely, it's not allowed to breathe. So you kind of just ground your piano right to the ground with normal legs. With these, they're bent. So it allows the piano just to keep moving and breathing. Huh. So it's almost like a living, breathing exactly. uh, human being, let's exactly. just say. And it really does change the difference in sound? Drastically. It's totally graphable as well in studios that you can see it. Artists, when they first play on it, they're blown away. They think this is a seven foot. They think it's a nine foot. Huh. And just the clarity of it is much OK, much well, let's, let's, let's hear it. Can you play a little, just a little snippet of something so we can try to hear the difference ourselves? Sure, that's no problem. OK, what are you, okay, you going to play here? I'm going to make it up. OK, good. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> even more exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. I, now, now I'm going to tell you something, Justin. To me, it just sounds beautiful, but I do have a hard time. I, I'm, I'm a bit hard of hearing. Um, but is it that? Is it kind of the thunderous sound, sound that comes out of it? And the, I mean, the the movement of the keys seems to just resonate within the piano, different than other pianos. Would well, that would be how the untrained ear might perceive it? Mm -hmm. It's actually the clarity of the instrument. The yeah, clarity of the instrument. It actually speaks cleaner. It's not as much hash or resonance that's inside of it. Now you're a self-taught pianist. Yes. That's and why I'm not very good. <laughs> I know. You're a lot better than I could ever be. Um, but you got into designing pianos. Is it because playing wasn't necessarily your forte? I just got tired of the way they looked because I was a technician from age of 15 on working on pianos. So I saw the exact same piano every single day. And I just got tired of the way they looked. So I started designing instruments, kind of changing the style. This is just one of the concepts. I have quite a few of them. Um, and I noticed that changing the legs and aspects, aspects of it, that actually totally changes the tonality. What a traditionalist traditional piano players and piano builders think of you changing the sound of, of the piano? That's a very heated topic, actually. So, it? so yeah, Until they play it, and then that changes their mind. Really? Yep. What do they say then? They're blown away. They're like, how could we have not changed the piano in so long that you can change the legs and it changes it dramatically? Now, have you, ch have you uh, designed any other pianos mm -hmm. um, inspired by car uh, cars as well? This is the first car concept. Huh. And have you ever driven a Ferrari? I don't know if I want to. But <laughs> <laughs> Will it sound as good as this? Um, yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. Well, listen, it is a beautiful piano, and it was lovely to hear you play. And thank you so much for being here. Oh, Justin. thank you very much. All right. We'll be right back with more daytime, so don't go anywhere.